there is a need for the people of our nation to be encouraged a little. Am I communicating? Just assisted. Like I said, Dr. Mr. Nenche went out on evangelism yesterday and the climate was terrible. Depression, gloominess, disappointment, frustration, sorrow, like a morning mood. She had to try to bring people out. Previously, this kind of place would have been jammed and crowded with people. But I have some scriptures and words for us in this season. Scripture number one is Proverbs 19.21. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. There are many devices in a man's heart. There can be many orchestrations, manipulations, whatever it is, in the hearts and minds of people. But the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. Scripture number two. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Say the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. That is Nigeria. It is the expected end. That shall be your outcome. To give you an expected end. If it is not the expected end, it is not over yet. If it is not the expected end, it is not over yet. Isaiah 65 verse 23. They shall not labor. Say what someone say, I shall not labor in vain. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. Look at your neighbor say you didn't waste your time. Say we didn't waste our time. We didn't waste our effort. We did not labor in vain. We did not go out to vote in vain. We can never labor in vain. That is the God we serve. And that is what he told us in Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10 and chapter 6 verse 10a. He said for God is not unrighteous. 6 10a. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. We can stop there. In our love for our nation, in our love for the future God has for us, we did everything we could. He said, God is not unrighteous to forget. Look at your neighbor say, God has not forgotten. The labor, you have labored, we have labored for our nation. And God shall reward our labor. Say amen. Job chapter 20 verse 4 to verse 6. I'd like you to pay attention to this carefully. Say, knowest thou not this of old? Since man was placed upon it. That the triumphing of the wicked is short. And the joy of the hypocrite is for a moment. You can go and go, you can go to sleep on this world. That since all time, place it there. No, it not doubt this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing. Except it's not wicked. If it is wicked, the triumphing of the wicked is short. The joy of the hypocrite. But for a moment, look at verse 6. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds. 7. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Let's 
Let's read it again. I want to read it again. God has every answer in scripture. From verse 4. From verse 4. Everybody read it together. I want to go. Knowest thou not this of old? Since man was placed upon earth. 4 to 7. That the triumphing of the wicked is short. And the joy of a hypocrite is but for a moment. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens. And his head reach unto the clouds. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say where is he. There are direct scriptures. So look at another one. Take your seat. Ezekiel 21, 24 to 27. In the Living Bible, first 24 to 26 in the Living Bible and 27 in King James Version. The Lord says, Again and again, your guilt cries out against you, for your sins are open and unashamed. Wherever you go, whatever you do, all is filled with sin. And now the time of punishment has come. He said it is open, unashamed. Does that remind you of anything? Open and unashamed. Again and again, your guilt cries against you. For your sins are open and unashamed. Wherever you go, whatever you do, it is all filled with sin. And now, the time of punishment has come. O King Zedekiah, evil prince of Israel, you can fill that with any name you want. Your final day of reckoning is here. Take off your crown. The Lord God says, the old order changes. Old order, old order, old order, old order. Old order, old order, old order, old order. The old order changes. Now the poor are exalted and the rich brought very low. I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. King James Version. I will overturn, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. And it shall be no more until he come whose right it is. And I will give it to him. Stand on your feet in a shout. Ay, 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 ay. I will overturn. I will overturn. I will overturn it until it comes whose right it is. And I will, I will give it to him. Say after me, say, Father, overturn. Father, overturn. 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 Overturn it. And give it to him. Say, give it to him. It to whose him. right it is. In the name of Jesus. Word number seven. This is the lion, Archbishop B.A. Dahosa. He said, in the race between lie and truth, lie may win at first, but truth will win at last. Read it again. In the race between lie and truth, lie may win at first, but truth will win at last. In the battle between good and evil, evil may prevail at first, but good must triumph at last. When the will of man clashes with the will of God, the will of man perishes and the will of God flourishes. Whatever is built on good grounds will come to good ends. But whatever is built on nothing will come to nothing. Whatever is built on truth will triumph. But whatever is built on falsehood must fail. So guys, and that was Pastor Dr. Paul Enetje of Dynamics International Gospel Center. And then um, this man is fearless. This man is outspoken. He knows send anybody, Papa, in as much as he's saying, he knows what he's saying. He's saying the right thing. He can't just stand there on the pulpit speaking to over millions of people and then talking nonsense. So this man is always right. Yes, let me say he's always right. He's one of those outspoken 
pastor, together with um, Prophet Isabuba, these people, they come out to speak for the masses. They know what the society they are going, uh, passing through. In fact, there was a time that um, the federal government, they got angry, and one of them were like, um, they need to arrest him, they need to arrest Dino Milaye, and one other person. But what Pastor Paul is saying is not wrong. He's saying the right thing. So if they dare touch this man of God, if they dare arrest him, <laughs> the protest will come. The blessing will go past that of obedience to. So guys, let me know what you feel at the comment section. Regardless what is going on in the country, let us just calm down and let the courts do theirs. We trust Peter will be here, so he's going to do justice to what is happening. So he said he's going to be with us till the very end. So let me know what you feel at the comment section. Please like and subscribe to Gist Estate.